Hey folks, I welcome you guys back to Scalo Academy's YouTube channel. And in this particular session in the SQL tutorial series, we shall work with the update query. So till now we've seen how to create a table, how to insert records into the table. And now with the help of the update query, we shall see how to modify the records which are already stored in our table. So what we'll do is we'll directly open up MySQL Workbench and start working with the update query. So I've opened up MySQL Workbench over here. Again, I will click on local instance and let me go ahead and give in the password. And we have our MySQL Workbench right over here. Now my task would be to select the database and open up the table. So the database which we were using was college. So here I shall write down use college. Let me select this and I will click on this button. So I've selected the database. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use the table which is present inside this. So the name of the table is student. So to look at all of the records which are present in the table, I shall just write down select star from student. Now again, I will click on this and as you see, these are the different columns which are present and these are all of the records. So as of now, it seems that we've got six students and uh, we've got their names, we've got the marks and we've got their gender respectively in this table. Now. What I'd want to do is, let's say if the marks which Anne Cleopatra has scored, it's actually 97 and not 87. There has been a mistake while storing the data. What I'd want to do is actually change that. And for that purpose, I can use the update query. So here, this is how I would change the marks which are stored as 87. I would want to change that to 97. So let me just write down update. So this is how I'll start. I will start off by writing the keyword update. Then I shall give in the name of the table. So the name of the table is student. So update student. After this, I shall again use the keyword set. And I would have to set S marks to be equal to 97 where the first name is equal to an. So here I shall select where S underscore first underscore name is equal to an. So what I'm doing is I am changing the value of marks from 87 to 97 where the first name is equal to an. Let me select this entire thing. I'll run this properly. So it seems like we have an error over here. You are using safe update mode. So normally what happens is if we are trying to update something and by default in your MySQL server, if it is in safe mode, you cannot update it. So we'd have to turn off the safe mode. So to turn off the safe mode, this is the command which I'd have to use. So I'd have to use set SQL safe updates is equal to zero. Now I'll select this. Let me run this now. So as you see, this has been properly executed. Now again, I'll select this update query and I will select this. Now this has been successfully executed. So now that I've made the changes, let me go back and open up my table. So here I shall write down select star from students and let me run this and let me see what would be the result that I get. So I'll select this again. So this has to be student if I'm not wrong and not students and I'll click on run. So as you see, initially the marks which Anne Cleopatra has scored were 87 with the help of the update query. I was able to update it or change it from 87 to 97. Similarly, we've got another student over here. So we've got David Leon and he scored 92. So, but it seems that this again is incorrect and David Leon had in fact scored 62 and not 92. So let me also change that. So what I'll do is I'll write down update. Then I shall give in the name of the table, which is student. So update student, then I'll write set. And after this, I'd have to give in the name of the column. So the name of the column would be S marks. Update student set S marks is equal to 62 where now 
in the where clause i'll actually use the s id instead of s first name so here this person's name is david leon and his s id is 103 so here i shall write where s id is equal to 103 now i'll select this entire thing and let me run this so again i've executed this now let me go ahead and select my table so select star from student and let me run this and as you see over here initially marks scored by david leon were 92 with the help of the update query i was able to change it to 62. so folks this is where we learned how to work with the update query and if you do want to learn about the other basic things in SQL such as how to create a table, how to create a database or maybe how to insert records into the table. You can watch our previous videos and you'll find the links for the same in the description below. So now before I end this class, I'd request you folks to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and let's meet in the next one.